What's up ladies? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Sarah here from Lather Bath Co. Today I'm here sharing how exactly I would start a soap business if I only had a hundred dollars in my budget. Now I have done a video similar to this before and it was all about starting a bath bomb business with a hundred dollars and quite a few of you seemed to enjoy that. So I thought that since I've been making more soap content lately that this might be a good video to share. So within this video, I'm going to be sharing with you everything that you will need to start a soap business, where you can purchase it. I'll put links to everything down in the description box below, and we'll keep a running tally of our budget, how much we've spent. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now we are going into this video with the assumption that you want to start with melt and pour soap bases, okay? So if you're looking to do um, the cold process or hot process type where you kind of like hand make each ingredient or individual mix in each individual ingredient, um, that's not where we are starting today. If you've been around my channel before, you'll know I don't really have um, any at all experience in cold process soaps. It's not uh, a part of my journey at this point in time. And you know, maybe that'll change in the future, but for now, I'm happy with my melt and pour options. Now I do have some of the things like physically in my possession that I can show you. So you can kind of get like a feel for the actual size um, in like real life. Um, but whatever I don't have, I will insert screenshots of. And of course, again, everything will be linked down below. I chose to go strictly Amazon with this video because most of us already have a Prime membership. It can help you get started way faster and you know that all of your things are coming from one place. They don't, you know, you're not necessarily waiting two days for this item to arrive and then the other items coming from cross country. So you have to wait, you know, an additional week, etc. cetera. Um, shipping, you don't have to worry about all those shipping fees cutting into the cost of your products. So anyway, that's why I decided to go with Amazon for this video, help you get started quickly and efficiently. Now I will say over time, I don't think that Amazon is the best bet, um, but it's a really good way when you're first starting out to get like your items pretty, pretty quickly. We are going to start with the Stevenson Melt and Pour Soap Base. They have tons and tons of different types of bases. I use this one, it is a triple butter blend, but um, they also have vegan options, they have shea options, they have tons of different options um, that all cost relatively the same amount of money. So we're gonna go with this one right here. Down below, I did link the vegan one just because, um, and the oatmeal one, just because I thought that those might be more popular options. But here is kind of what the um, case looks like. And then here's what like the actual soap base looks like. It's just like a solid soap base with no smell. So each container of um, melt and pour soap base, if you're using the same one that I use, will get you approximately eight four ounce bars that end up, and of course, you know, mine are, I use a specific mold, um, but just to give you a, a visual, this is about what a four ounce soap bar will look like. It's a good size. I think any more might be a little excessive when you're like washing your body with it and anything that might be a little bit less may seem like, um, you know, not necessarily worthy of customer purchase. So anyway, um, each of those mountain pour soap based containers will give you about eight four ounce bars. So our assumption here is that we're going to start off with six different scents. Each one of these containers will run you $15.49, okay? So we're gonna multiply that by three to get this total and then move on. All right, other necessities you are going to need is obviously somewhere to put them after you melt the base and mix in anything that you may be mixing in. I included a link to this guy right here. I think it's a different color, but again, I mean, it's the color. You choose whatever color you want. I liked this pink one, um, and this will get you six bars here. The cost of the mold is $8.59. 
obviously there are tons of options or with any of these items there are tons of options i'm not giving you the end all be all of some making supplies from amazon i'm just letting you know you know this is what if i only if i was sticking to this strict budget this is what i would choose okay so we've got our soap base we have our mold next we're going to move into fragrance as I said in my bath bomb video, um, I think in the beginning when you're trying to figure out exactly what you want to offer, a really good way to sort of help you figure that out is to order like a sample pack or a variety of different fragrances. So I went ahead and chose this one here. It is the Good Essential Fragrance Oil Set. It's $10.99 and it has a really good variety of scents. Um, this one in particular is like more heavily floral based. So it's got more like peony, roses, gardenia, uh, lilies, that kind of thing. But I did notice that they offered other things like they have a baked goods set. They have like a beach fragrance set. That way, if floral isn't your vibe or something that you want to offer, you do have other things to choose from. But keep in mind, these are sample sized items. You're not going to get a hundred bars of soap out of it. You know, it'll work well for our purposes of just getting started, getting our name out there, working on our formulations and that kind of thing. But in the long run, you'll probably find that purchasing like these sample sized items or sample sized fragrances um, or even mica powders that we haven't covered yet will, um, not be the most cost efficient for you. Now let's move into packaging. So I have included a set of cellophane bags. These are self sealing. So they have like a little adhesive um, closure at the top that you just peel off the little sticky and then fold it over and it is sealed. It's 300 of these little envelopes. They're four by six. They're a really good size. They're gonna fit our bars into it and it's $5.99. Cost efficiency there is right exactly where we're looking. I'm pretty sure when I did the math that um, it costs two cents per bag, which is excellent. It keeps our bottom line low and helps us get a little bit further. I will say if you have like a Michael's craft store in your area, they have some really nice bags in there. They are definitely more expensive. You get less of them, um, but they are like thicker. So these ones from Amazon are gonna be a little bit thinner. Still gonna get the job done, but they're not going to be as nice as the more expensive ones from Michaels do but again dealer's choice do what you want to do I'm just letting you know what I would do now as far as a product label goes obviously you must have your product labeled and why wouldn't you want to have your product labeled so here is where I started I went ahead with the cheapest yet nicest labeling that I could figure out. I have since upgraded, um, but upgraded packaging is a story for another day, friends. Okay. So uh, what I did was I went to Target and I just got Astro Bright's um, cardstock paper and I used Canva for free to design my product labels and printed them out on that cardstock from my printer. So I do have an HP Envy printer. I'll link it down below. It's just a really nice printer and uh, at the time I got it, I needed a new printer anyway. So for me, you know, having this one was pretty much a win-win. As long as your printer takes cardstock, any printer will do this job for you. Um, and then I just printed them out. Each card is about the size of a business card so it does fit nicely in the bag with the soap without being too overpowering and um called it a day really so adding this astro brights cardstock to our total we're gonna get 75 sheets which will last you quite some time especially if your cards are business card size it's gonna be at 6.99 adding up our total here we still got a little bit left a little bit left let's see how close to this hundred we can get without going over Okay, so we're designing everything on Canva for free and we're also going to be shipping in free USPS boxes. Super important to note here that you should not use poly mailers, like the little bag type. You need an actual box to ensure that your soap will make it there in one nice piece. Our last piece of packaging is of course going to be pack, pack our last piece of packaging is of course going to be packing peanuts. That way we can, again, make sure we're getting our soap there in the absolute best shape as possible. And we've got here a half cubic foot of packing peanuts for $9.50. 
Okay, now I've got a couple of things left, um, but these are more optional items. The first optional item that I have that I did include in this $100 budget is mica powder for coloring the soap. Obviously, whether you decide to color your soap or not is a personal business decision. I color my soaps. I know a lot of people color their soaps, but I also know a lot of people don't. So really, you have to weigh that for yourself, but here is a sample, again, another sample set or variety pack for $9.99 on Amazon. And then finally, I've got some optional additives that you may already have in your house so you don't have to worry about going to buy. So the first thing that I would consider a good additive um, for its exfoliating properties would be oatmeal. You want to get like an old-fashioned rolled oats type like you don't want an instant oatmeal that's like flavored and scented with the powder and you don't want any of that okay just the straight up plain oats. You may also have coffee grounds in your pantry. I know <laughs> If you don't, I'm like super proud of you, okay? We have so many coffee grounds in this house. Um, so that is an excellent thing that you can add. You don't need, you know, a whole bunch. That would be an excellent option for an additive for you. And then if you check out in your spice cabinet, you may happen to have poppy seeds. Poppy seeds, I know that sounds a little bit strange, but poppy seeds really um, are great for exfoliating and they don't like degrade or deteriorate or the color doesn't like leak off of it into the product or seep off of it into the product over time. So it's a really great option. Now those additives I did not put in the budget, those three, the oatmeal, the coffee grounds, and the poppy seeds, just because you don't need them at all to get started. But I thought maybe you might already have some of them in your pantry. So kind of like a free, if you will, addition <laughs> to your soap bars. That brings our grand total to $98.52. I was sweating there for a little bit when I was adding all of this up to make sure that it was still under $100. But I think we did a really nice job of getting a good variety of things that would help us get started for sure. All right, that's going to do it for us today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you enjoy videos about handmade products, melt and pour soaps, bath bombs, body butters, that kind of thing. My product catalog is growing rather quickly. If you'd like to see my current offerings, definitely check out the retail side of my website at latherbathco.com or I do have the link um, to the wholesale shop down below. All right, I'll see you next week.